to buy a new iPad or not to buy a new iPad and snap up a cut price iPad 2? That is the question. The second and third generation Apple tablets look and feel very similar from the outside, but on the inside there are some key differences. We compared the processor, camera and display on the two models. First up is the processor. The iPad 2 has a dual core A5 chip, clocking at 1 GHz. The new iPad has an A5X processor that's also dual core. To put the two pads to the test, we've cleared the history and closed all running apps. We're going to see how long they both take to turn on and off, and also load up BBC News and Temple Run. In our tests, the iPad 2 actually turns on and off a bit quicker than the new iPad. Loading up the apps, there's not much in it at all. The new iPad is just milliseconds ahead. Next, we compared the display. The iPad 2 has the same 1024 by 768 LED backlit screen as the original iPad. The main upgrade to the new iPad is the Retina display, giving you 2048 by 1536 resolution at 264 ppi, which makes pixels indistinguishable up close, just like on the iPhone 4S. Check out the close-up of this movie trailer. Both versions have the VGA front-facing camera, so we won't be testing that. But on the back, the new iPad has the iSight camera found on the iPhone 4S, giving you 5 megapixels and 1080p video recording, compared to the iPad 2's 1 megapixel snapper that gives you 720 video recording. The new iPad's camera gives you better pictures, especially up close. In our tests, the main differences are the display, resolution and the pixels you can see up close, and the quality of the camera. So if these improvements are important to you, the new iPad may be worth investing in, but if not, you might want to save yourself 70 quid and opt for the second gen version.